Hi, I'm Brandon Greasley. I'm a high school math teacher. Let's find an equation for the line that passes through these points, negative 2, 5, and 3, 2. So on the, for the first point, negative 2, 5 is back here, and then up 5. And let's just label that, negative 2, 5. And 3, 2 is here and up here. We'll label that there. And so let's just connect these to show graphically what this is going to look like. Looks about like this. And so we want to find the equation that goes through, uh, of the line that goes through these two points. Well, the, often we'll write an equation in this form, y equals mx plus b. That's the slope y-intercept form. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Let's start by figuring out what the slope must be. We can use these two points to figure that out. You can do this right on the graph here by sort of counting. Let's do it algebraically though. The slope is equal to the difference in the y values divided by the difference in the x values. So we'll often write something like this, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We call that the rise and the run. So picking a point to be our number two point, I'll start with this one, let's say. y2 is 2 and subtract y1 which is 5. And x2 will be this one here, 3 minus x1 is negative 2. So being careful here, negative minus negative 2. I'm going to put that in brackets. So this is our slope. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And on the bottom, 3 minus negative 2 is the same as 3 plus 2. So that'll be 5. So my slope is negative 3 fifths. Okay, so far we're, we're about halfway there. That means my I'm going to substitute this slope in for m in my general equation here. So negative 3 fifths x plus b. We still don't know b, but we do know a point. We actually know two points that are on this line. I can pick either one of them. And uh, I think I'll substitute 3, 2. Let's avoid the negatives. So the y value is 2. The x value is 3. And I'm looking to find b. I've substituted in for all the variables I can. I just don't know what b is. Uh, let's see, this is going to be negative 9 fifths over here. So I'm going to rewrite my 2 as some number of fifths. That'll be 10 fifths. So 2 is 10 fifths. Negative 3 times 3 is 9, negative 9, and that's in fifths. And I have b over here. So, uh, adding 9 fifths to both sides, I'll get 19 fifths. And over this side, I'll get b. So the final equation is y equals negative 3 fifths x plus 19 fifths.